Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so as of the last episode, we had just finished the other fixes section, which is all this stuff down through the critter fixes. And if we look at our mod organizer so far, so good. We've got all this stuff installed. We've got, uh, looks like nine ESPs going, which is fine. Okay, um, you might notice we've got a red overwrite. If you take a look in here, Looks like we got something from Smart Souls popped in here. Every once in a while we'll get stuff in here and we'll take care of that at the end. So what's happening is right now, this anything in overwrite would apply to everything, even uh, independent of the profile. And you don't really want that. That's what actually this error is right here. This, there are files in your overwrite mod. We'll take care of that at the very end. That's that's one of the things we'll, we'll end up doing because stuff's just gonna find its way in there. And so there's no real point in fixing it right now. We could, but we'll uh, we'll take care of it like all at once. Okay, so let's go to our web page and continue on. So we've done the Wiseman critter fixes, so we're on to the user interface. General user interface improvement. Sky UI. Now this is a big one. This is a replaces the console based UI with a more comprehensive and functional one suitable for a, a PC. Okay. So yeah, the default user interface in the game is fine for consoles but for pcs it's not really super awesome so we're going to head over to, to here and grab it we're looking for version 5.1 which this is so here we go uh it looks like there's only one main file there's a bunch of old versions which we don't care about um yeah so here we go download with manager and he's saying we need the skse that's fine Continue, and there it is. So let's go ahead and install. And it just, <laughs> it just installed. Okay, I guess that that's just that easy. Uh, it didn't give me the option for manual, so I, hopefully there was no special instructions we needed to do. It doesn't look like there is, okay. So let's activate that. So that should definitely have a, yeah, that should definitely have an ESP for sure. Okay. So very nice. So we're at 0A, which is uh, 10, basically. Um, 0A is hexadecimal. For those of you who don't know hexadecimal numbering. Okay, so we're heading on to Block Steel Redux. Okay, so this has got some special instructions for installation. So for the optional file, create a directory, and okay, so we'll do that. So let's head over here and take a look. Uh, let's close this one because we don't need it anymore before it starts giving me problems. So we're looking for 1.5. So here we go. 1.5. Let's go to the files section. So there's an optional file. There we go. Download this. Yes, we've got SKSE. Thank you. And then I'll also download these, this optional file. Okay. Continue. Thank you. All right. The purpose of this mod is to prevent accidental stealing of, of like clutter kind of stuff, like plates and mugs and things that belong to people that you're not supposed to take. But is it's easy to accidentally pick stuff up like that. So we're going to go ahead and do a manual install of that. I don't think there's any special instructions here, so we're good. So let's just hit OK. All right, and we'll turn that on. Now let's do the, the optional file. This is the one that had special instructions. OK, so what are we supposed to do here? Let's take a look. Close that off. Blocks deal. The optional file create a directory SKSE plugins. OK, so. It's not real clear what he means right by, by doing this. Like, do you go out to here to do it? Up to, sorry. To um, mod organizer, and there's the mods, wherever that is. And then go to, you know, the, what are we looking for? Block Steel Redux. This guy right here. And, you know, you could do all that kind of stuff, but we're not going to. That's not what we want to do. I think what he wants to do is create a directory SKSE plugins. So go to Mod Organizer. And I think you want to do under data, create directory, SKSE, and then uh, create directory under that, 
plugins. And then we're going to take this guy and we're going to move him into plugins like such. So that's what you want to do. And hit OK. Um, this mod seems to be installed already. Interesting. Uh, do we want to merge? I don't think we want to merge. Do we? Well, maybe we do want to merge because all we're doing is putting it into here. We're not really usually supposed to merge. I'm going to say OK. I hope this is not a mistake. But let's find out. OK. Seems to be all right. Yep. Prevent accident pickup ESP. We've merged it in with this one. Should be good. Let's have to take a look at that. SKSE, plugins. There's the basket. All right. Looks good. I think we're okay. Hopefully that's what he meant for us to do. I'm not 100% positive, but I think it looks all right. So let's go back to our web page. And we'll do extended UI, which attempts to fix parts of the inner interface. It's intended to be complementary to the Sky UI rather than to replace it. So let's go here. We've got some special instructions, so we'll deal with that when we get there. Go to the Files section. Uh, section 1.20D, which is the one he's after. There you go. So let's go ahead and download that. And he's saying we need these things, which we do. We have. Okay. So we'll go back here, go to our downloads. There's extended UI. Let's go ahead and do manual installation. So there's a couple of special instructions he has. Okay, let's reduce that a little bit so we can see what we're doing. I lost it. There it is. Okay, we want... You moved. You moved. Why did you move? Extended UI. We do not want to install the readme. Okay, that makes sense. So everything else stays, right? Looks like everything else stays. All right, looks good. So let's just hit OK. Installation successful. We'll turn it on. Okay, guys. So it looks like we finished this section. Let's go ahead and just for kicks, let's run loot. Make sure everything's okay. It should be fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and run the sort function. Looks good to me. Okay, go ahead and apply that and close. So yeah, it's all in the same order that it was. Let's go ahead and check it out. Since we now have Sky UI uh, loaded, we can actually see this in, in action. Okay guys, there we go. So, looks pretty good. Let's hit the, um, oops, let's hit the menu. Just making sure everything's fine here. So there you go, we got a mod configuration thing. So, let's check our inventory. Yeah, see this is SKSE. Or sorry, uh, not SKSE, Sky UI. This is their, their interface. So it looks like everything's working. Looks pretty good. Very nice. We got a mod configuration deal here. So we got auto unequip ammo, uh, block steel, extended UI. So you see we got some stuff, sky UI stuff, controls, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, looks pretty good. Okay guys, let's see. How are we doing here? How many mods did we install here? Let's see, I gotta go back to where I was. There we go, user interface. Um, let's see if we can get through the heads up display stuff. Starting with a matter of time. So let's go to a matter of time, a HUD clock widget. Version 2.07 is what we're after. 
close that. I don't need that there. It's so that. Go to files. And 2.07. There we go. It requires Sky UI. Yes, I'm aware. Okay. Back into here. There's a matter of time. Go ahead and do a manual installation because I think there were some special instructions we need. So, let's reduce that again because. And of course, every time I do that, it changes where my. There we go. The position of where my thing is. So, we do not want to install the FOMOD folder. We don't need that. And we do not want to install the README. So really just the ESP and that. So hit OK. And there you go. Turn it on. All right. So better message box controls, version 1.2. Let's go check that out. Version 1.2, grab the files. Uh, there we go. Download with manager. It's coming. Done. Go ahead and install. We'll do a manual installation. Doesn't look like there's any special um, instructions with this one. So this lets the player navigate message boxes with the keyboards. Sure. I mean, you know, great. <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. Okay. Immersive HUD from Gopher version 3.03 .03, increases immersion by hiding non-essential HUD elements until needed. So let's go grab that. And we'll go to files, uh, 3003, that's the one we want. Go ahead and download it. And there we go. Go ahead and install manually. Looks like everything's fine and turn it on. Okay, we got Immersive HUD. Let's go with uh, iWASM. Immersive weight and sleep menu. This mod provides a more immersive and cleaner way to wait and sleep. So, sounds good. Version 1.0 is the one we're after. This is version 1.0. Let's go ahead and grab a file. And download with manager. Here it comes. There's, um, I don't believe there was any special instructions here. Nope. We can just go ahead and install. Nope. Oh, cancel. Hang on a second. They didn't pack it right. It's that data directory. So yeah, if ever you get that message, you, you're just looking for the data directory for that. So go ahead and pop that in. Turn it on. Very nice. All right. What's next? Uh, main font replacement. This mod fixes the ugly modern font that does not both fit a fantasy game. So let's go ahead and grab that. Um, version 2.0, which I think is the one he wants. The Centaur font is what we're after. So let's go to the files. Files. Now we're looking for the Centaur font. There it is right here. Go ahead and grab that. And install. Do a manual installation. Everything looks good. Go ahead and go. Bang, main font. All right, next. More HUD. This mod displays information about an object that the player is targeting, such as alchemy effects, weight, and complete armor weapon stats without having to pick them up, which is very nice. I tell you, after having played Skyrim for a while without that function, <laughs> it's nice to have that kind of information before you pick something up. Okay, so we got 2.13, which is here. Go ahead and go to the files, current version. Go ahead and download. Yes, I'm aware. Continue. Let's check and see if there's any special. There's no special. Uh, it's taking its time. There it goes. All right. We can install manually. Go into the data folder. There it is. Okay. Looks good. Hit OK. Turn it on. How are we doing here in plugins? Oh, we're down to. 16. 15 actually. 15 ESPs. Alright. Where are we at? No poison dialogues. Removes the annoying dialogue to confirm weapon poisoning. So, sure. Let's go ahead and grab that. Download with manager. 
Again, pretty self-explanatory. There's no special instructions here, so we'll just go ahead and install it. Again, we got to set the data directory. And hit OK. Okay, let's turn it on. Looking pretty good so far, guys. All right, I think we've got one more, right? No poison a smaller cursor. This mod shrinks the cursor, the person can actually see what they're clicking on. So let's go ahead and install that. Version 1.0, that's the version we want. And uh, there's some optional files here. Let's see what they say. Uh, it doesn't say anything about optional files. These are just alternative cursors. We'll go with the default. Let's close the poison one. I don't need that anymore. It means pending. There we go. Fetching and done. Let's go ahead and install. Same problem. This is not set to the right directory. There we go. And install. Smaller cursor. Turn it on. Oh, we have an error here. Oh, this is a date. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ignore update. There we go. Thank Yep. All right. Looks good. Everything looks fine. We've got some, we got the same error in here, probably from the same. Yep. Still just the one file in here. It's not bad. Okay, guys, let's take a look at our plugins. We now have 15 plugins. Let's go ahead and run loot just to make sure everything is sorted properly. We have no errors or warnings. I'm starting to get a list in here, huh? Okay, let's see what we got here. No errors, no warnings. Looks very good. Let's go ahead and sort. No master list update was required. And looks like it's pretty much the same um, order we had. Let's apply. Close that. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like in game. We should have some differences that are obvious. Okay, guys, right away we can see our font has changed. That's kind of nice. Uh, yes, please. The cursor is smaller. All right. The HUD's initializing. Look at that. We've got a time up on the screen. That's kind of cool. lost my uh, compass though. I kind of don't like that. I kind of like having that compass on the screen at all times. I might have to adjust that in the in the menu. I'm sure there's a menu option for that. Here, let's see. Mod configurations. Extended immersive hood. I think that's the one that... Compass activation. Yeah. Press toggle. Okay, yeah, we can fix all this when, when we get to that point um, to make it more like what we like, or what I like anyway. But uh, looks good. I think we're do we're doing well. Um, so we got a nice user interface. Okay, so um, we'll get out of here to desktop thank you all right guys very excellent i'm quite happy with the way things are going everything seems to be working fine so far so uh and let's see we finished close that we finished all the way through up to character creation so if we look at the the menu here we've gone all the way down to here 4.428 so I mean really a good chunk of of this first section of four um, now four goes for a long way so you know we'll be doing this for a little while so if you don't really like you know the last few videos well <laughs> then this series may not be for you because this is what we're gonna be doing for a while until we hit five so um, yeah all right guys uh, we'll stop here and we'll pick this up in the next video so I'll see you guys in the next one thanks a lot